Hi, this is Dave, and welcome to day three of the Inca Trail hike to Machu Picchu in five days. Day three was probably the most scenic day in the entire hike. Isabel started feeling a little better, but the effects of her diarrhea we're still lingering a bit for most of the morning. Well, day three and here we are. Good morning. So yesterday was a tough day, indeed. The hardest day of the five day hike, according to our guide. Uh, we hiked for, I think around eight hours, eight and a half hours, and uh, went up 3,000 feet, I believe, or more, and had to go way down again another 1800 feet to get to our camp but there's another beautiful waterfall in the back can you see that up there so besides being the hardest day to hike yesterday on top of that it rained at least half of the half of the way so making it even a little tougher because you know the, the Inca trail has these pavers that they put in rocks basically that can get a little slippery so you have to be careful going up and down so anyway we're going to be going off here in a few minutes after we eat breakfast all right there she is and this is the way the way towards uh the next campsite so on this this is day three still um we're actually just leaving the campsite so that's the way we have to go up there kind of bends around the mountain and we're going to be going up how high, David? Or how many hours? Two, Maybe three hours up. Three hours up, and then another couple of hours down, and we'll have lunch. Okay, so we're still on our way up, day three. Right over there, right about in that spot, is a uh, Inca site, ancient Inca site. And what was this just explained to us from our guide is I want to go down here in a second. You'll see this bridge. There's porters coming. Below this bridge is nothing but straight down. And so this bridge used to be a control point. So if you wanted to pass along the Inca Trail, of course you had to be trusted. And then they would send a signal up there and they would send somebody down with sticks or I guess the stick would probably be here, but they would put the sticks across so you can pass. Okay, as I'm huffing and puffing, we were down at that Inca site but it was so cloudy, it was raining so hard. We couldn't, uh, couldn't get any good views, unfortunately, because I understand there's really great views. This was the watch out station or lookout station, as they say. So this is the way we came up here. It's still raining quite a bit. Hopefully it'll clear up. And that's where we gotta go. Okay, a little better view from, from here. If you look closely, you can see the waterfall. Way back there. Coming down. So look at those. That little green building. Right there. Is the place that we camped and there's the lookout from the Incas Hello, my friend. there's our guide there's our friend we keep seeing everywhere <laughs> her and her sisters <laughs> but she's always way up in front she passes us and then like a half an hour later her sister will, will pass well day three we're still hiking up to the high point for the day, we got probably another 10 minutes, we'll be at the high spot. 
Um, we came up this Inca trail here. And if I haven't mentioned this before, each one of those stones was planted. That was put there by the Incas to make a trail. This was like a considered a trading route for them. But too bad it's still raining and I just wanted to get a couple of these little lakes along the mountainside. We're pretty high up, but you can't tell because of all the clouds back there. But still a pretty view. And then where we're going, we are heading up there. You see our guy David, and we're all sitting up there. Keep going. Hey. I'll catch up. <clears throat> It's raining, it's slick, and cold, and a little breezy. But this is the way we do it. This is the way we came up through this little tunnel. So day three still. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the camera over here so you can see that's where we came from. Um, there's another little Inca site here. They're all over the place. Say hi, Isabel, now. <laughs> and David. So. Beautiful. The streams. We passed, like, these streams, like, probably dozens of times. All along the Inca Trail. You see where the Incas made a channel in the trail. They did this in probably thousands of places, I would imagine. I know we passed hundreds, at least. And it's to help preserve the trail, which is uh, pretty cool. So this is my coca tea. Yes, those are real coca leaves. <laughs> and what it helps with is, it helps prevent altitude sickness and helps prevent <clears throat> dizziness. And it doesn't taste bad. Avocado seed, carrot, and celery. And what that is, is Isabel's diarrhea tea. <laughs> so funny. Another beautiful waterfall in the distance. Actually more, but you can't see because of the clouds. This is still day three. And we were camping down there. Or not camping, had lunch there. And then up here, there's a Incan spot that we passed on our way down to lunch. More later.
Oh, this is the rainforest. Whoa. Obviously, look at all this. Some of this, so we have this moss in Florida. They have bamboo way up here. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Very neat. Another view, a beautiful waterfall off in the distance, going down into the valley. Quite gorgeous. And too bad it's cloudy because you'd be able to see the snow capped glacial ridge right up there. Campsite. This is our third night. It rained a lot today too, but it was okay. Really beautiful sights. In five minutes, these clouds would cover what I'm videoing because five minutes ago it was covered. Hi, Isabel. There's our Catchy Life tent, the name of the company that we hired to guide us. There's our tents. Well, our tent and the guide's tent. Up there are tents from some other group hiking. Like 